The NG Basic ABI is an easy to use system for measuring ABI, TBI and pulse waves. It works with optical PPG sensors and blood pressure cuffs that are operated with a hand pump. This allows for a simultaneous measurement of the left and right side of the body at the same time, for the most precise comparison. The system comes with a two-channel PPG system with optical sensors, cuffs in different sizes to cover fingers, toes, ankle and upper arm, and the hand pump with a manometer. In addition, the system supports thoracic outlet syndrome tests, Raynaud syndrome tests, or optionally, chronic venous insufficiency tests. To prepare the measurement, you have to connect the hoses with a hand pump. These connectors can simply be plugged in until you hear a clicking noise. At the other end of the hoses, you have to connect the cuffs. The connectors can be plugged together and then twisted until you hear a clicking noise. Attach the metal clips to the sensors. Be sure that the orientation of the sensor is correct. Apply the upper arm cuff as indicated in the video. Make sure to select the correct size of the cuff. Choose between small or medium cuffs depending on the circumference of the upper arm. Make sure that the cuffs are equally tight placed on the left and the right side of the body. Place the optical sensors on the fingers and ensure that they have full skin contact. Make sure that the right sensor is placed on the right side of the patient and the left sensor is placed on the left side of the patient. For hygiene reasons, sensors are always applied with adhesive rings. To apply the double-sided adhesive rings, take one ring off of the roll and apply it to the sensor firmly. Peel off the protective layer. The adhesive rings are for one-time use only and have to be removed after the measurement. Connect the USB cable to the computer. Select the patient or create a new patient in the software and select New Measurement. Follow the on-screen guidance. Start the measurement and wait a few seconds for the optical sensors to calibrate. Make sure that you see good quality pulse waves on both sides of the body. Now you can start to apply the cuff pressure. Apply pressure in the cuffs using the hand pump. Increase the cuff pressure until the pulse waves disappear and the flat line is displayed. Release the cuff pressure slowly. Observe the manometer and note the pressure at which the first pulse waves reappear. If you are unsure about the recorded pressure, simply pump the cuff up again and release slowly to recheck the result. The pressures have to be noted for the left and right side individually. This procedure has to be done for upper arms, ankles and optionally for the toes. Apply the ankle cuffs as indicated. Be sure to have the correct side of the cuff facing the patient. Make sure that the cuffs are equally tight placed on the left and the right side of the body. Attach the toe cuffs and the sensors to the toes as you can see it in the video. Be sure that the toe cuffs are not placed too tight around the toes. Make sure that the sensor has full skin contact. Once completed, finish the measurement and enter the marked pressure values into the software. The results are calculated automatically. In order to calculate the pulse wave velocity, you have to set markers on the peak and the necrotic wave of the pulse wave. You can directly print the report 
or export a PDF document. Optionally, a DICOM or HR7 interface can be configured. The results of the measurement are displayed in a single page report. It is easy to read and can be configured with your custom logo.